All right, thank you, Tony. All this recent rain is bringing back painful memories for some businesses along the Patuxent River. And among them, the Nilo Hotel, which you may remember was forced to shut down for more than a year after it filled with more than two feet of water during the historic floods of 2010. We wanted to know what, if anything, the hotel is doing differently this time around to better protect itself against potential flooding. Our Pinpoint Weather Team coverage continues now with Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen, who's live now with the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. Well, guys, right now I'm live here in Cranston along Fletcher Avenue. I'm sure you've seen the pictures of the last week. This is absolutely a place that just always gets devastated by these rains. The water always backs up here tremendously. But as you can see right now, it's pretty dry. The street flooding hasn't been too much of an issue. But places that are concerned for this to be an issue later on today are places in Warwick. Watching the river. It did go. Well. It's something Carol Velarde with the Nilo Hotel in Warwick has been doing a lot this week. So we closed for a year. After their first opening, the hotel was pummeled by the floods of 2010. Water was actually whooshing over that highway. So when it came across, it filled our restaurant at least four feet. Well, because of the recent rains across the state, many are keeping a close eye on the rivers. Eyewitness news cameras rolled as we saw contractors wrapping up repairs to a bridge because of past flooding. Streets so far stayed mostly dry, but the rain isn't over yet. At Nilo, they aren't too concerned, but they've made changes to keep everyone safe. We've got all the policies and procedures in place for um, evacuation if that happens. But until that happens, we're open and ready for business. Velarde is keeping her fingers crossed. We've had our damage. We're done. We're, it's not going to happen again. Lightning doesn't tr strike twice. <laughs> Here, taking a look back live here uh, in Cranston on Fletcher Avenue. I actually checked in with the fire department, the Warwick Fire Department. They tell me that they've been going along and doing checks all along the river at different places, just seeing where the water's at. They actually said the rivers look pretty good right now. If anything, it's gone down over the last 24 hours, but that could change. The key concern that they have would be street flooding like places like this in Fletcher Avenue. Now, coming up new at 6, I'm going to take you to the Warwick Mall and tell you what they're doing to try to keep dry. Reporting live at the West Bay Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.